That's what I'm talking about. Three recessions and I've been trying real hard to build credit. And I took measures. Up, and what I did temporarily. Look, I'm off pause, we motherfucker. Don't need Republican ideas because they, um, they're broken. They don't they it work. It doubled. And oh. This is what I was expecting. My credit score went down when I took open credit cards and did some applications and bought that motorcycle and shit. But right here, 33 points in one suite from in the 600s up to um, 729. And look what it says up here. Se uh, 739 is the cap for good, getting into very good. 10 po more points. And that was from today. And I also know that I have a balance of $350 from like my casino trip and stuff. Um, hotel and shit. I, I paid out on my end. Now to be completely fair. Even though I have a balance of like $380 on my card. I've got some money over here so I'm not paying any interest on it the interest only accrues after the statement balance so a month from the end of the month like the interest doesn't start accruing and I pay it all off so I won't pay a penny of interest and they said paying off everything early can actually lower your credit score so I'm waiting and letting the balance ride. I have plenty more credit. And I just got a new $1,600 line from Amazon. Um, which is particularly useful. And some weird rules. And the, the, One of the rules I found was any purchase over $50, I automatically can finance it in equal payments, which is not the same as just being on a credit card. But... I could just divide it by 12. Well, I could take a $1,000 purchase and divide it by 12 with 80 something dollars, whatever. Um, and pay 80 something dollars a month for 12 months with 0% interest. So, whereas $1,000 would be almost all of my month's uh, disability check and leave me screwed and I'm fucked. Amazon has everything these days fucking everything and i can get a hold of something i need like if i needed a nice set of ramps to put motorcycles in the back of a truck but i've stretched myself thin having bought a truck and an rv and a motorcycle and financed all that and my cash is low and i don't have much going on and i need i already looked six seven hundred dollars for that item for a good uh loading ramp um and the toy haulers are more expensive. Like a good tra travel trailer, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen thousand. A good toy hauler, thirty-five thousand. Wait a minute, I can save fifteen, twenty thousand, um, something on that scale, and not get a toy hauler, but get a regular trailer and get a pickup truck with a long bed and ramps, and put my motorcycle in the back of the pickup truck, and then have the ball tow. So that seven hundred dollar set of ramps. That turns a cheap standard pickup truck into a toy carrier, toy hauler, makes the whole package of similar function not as easy. I mean, I have to unhook the trailer, and ramps are difficult to deal with and shit. But my second bike is light. Anyway, I could make such a purchase with zero percent financing, which is very important. Credit cards are twenty-eight percent, thirty percent. If you're paying 0% interest for a year, that helps you swallow big payments big or big items. Like, it, it won't wreck me. I won't have to pay. If I buy $1,000 on a regular credit card and I hold it for a year, I get, you know, for 11 months, it's going to be pulling interest. And it's going to, you know, 30% of $1,000 is $300. I'm going to pay some of it up front and it, it'll reduce, but it'll be in a $200 range of interest. So this Amazon is powerful and I have the ability to access it now. And 
as a general rule, I get five dollars off, or excuse me, five percent off everything on Amazon using the card. Ergo, fifty bucks on that thousand dollar purchase. So I save two hundred something dollars in interest, and I get fifty dollars cash back. That's twenty five percent of the total amount. Little things like that. Well, it's expensive to be poor. And the op I'm saying I'm a comp I've got these resources now. Poor people don't have these resources, and that's why. I, well, I'm still a poor person, but destitute people don't have these options. And everything's more expensive than them. Once you have a head start in life, once you, if imagine if I had had good credit when I had 18, and I worked my ass off and shit, and like the cops were taking my car because they couldn't get paper my tags and insurance what if I had a credit card and I could have just paid for all that I worked my ass off when I was that young badly like and you can have good credit you can get a credit card when you're 16 a, a, a verified card and start building credit like I know all about that now, but my parents kept me in the dark and didn't include me on their credit and left me standing on the side of the road with no options. There was just no question. And I never tried to build credit. I never had the opportunity. So, I could have been done. I could have had a chance in life. But my parents fucked me up in so many ways, keeping me ignorant of how society works, keep me away from money, keep me away, even school. They wouldn't, they said, oh, that's inappropriate, and got mad at me for learning stuff in school and took me out of some classes. And my parents were the ones causing a fuss in the school saying, you can't teach the kids that. Fucking psychos. Oh, and we're talking about public schools in Kentucky, so the schools were already conservative and shit, like they wouldn't teach evolution. And. My, uh, set my um, seventh and eighth grade science teacher, same dude, he wouldn't teach science. We we, did, we had a class and we didn't do anything for a whole class, and that was science class. I'm dead serious. We didn't get our textbooks. We didn't do any work. We 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 did we just studied like, um, right, what type of learner are you? Audio, visual, or tech? Uh, tech, interactive learner. What? And that's it. Like, there was no science lessons. I've been meaning for years to follow up on that, like to see what the excuse was. I'm trying now, and if it wasn't for a huge number of people working against me, I'd have a chance. Hmm. Oh well. And if some of those stalkers have some of my bull there's different levels of bullies. Some are sadists that like enjoying pain and all that. And some of the people are hating on me like, you're poor and you're worthless, fuck you, and they attack me. If that small group of people, or medium sized group of people, honestly, would turn around and help me and hit the share button, hit the thumbs up button and shit, I would have a business. I, I would be making money. I would be doing good in life. And have some hope. I've already proved I'm no drug addict. I'm not a fucking crackhead. I'm not stupid. I always have money. I can do whatever I want. But I'm smart enough just not to blow it because then you won't have money. But I'm satisfied with my PlayStation and a pizza and beer. Like that's a good enough party for me. If only people would help me, help build me up instead of breaking me down, I wouldn't need financial help. I'd take care of everything on my own. Just stop bullying me. 